Thinking about moving to Chandler, Arizona? If so, stay tuned because I have top five pros of moving to Chandler in this next video. Let's jump right into the top five pros of moving to Chandler, Arizona. Chandler, Arizona is located just to the southeast of downtown Phoenix. It's quite large in not only square miles, but also in population. 275,000 as of the 2020 census and 65 total square miles covered the whole area of Chandler. That's quite large. It borders Tempe, Mesa, Phoenix, the, Ila, or the Gila River Indian community, and also Mesa. So it's quite large. It taps into a lot of the different communities in the Southeast Valley of Phoenix. And number one, we have family oriented. Chandler is located just a little bit away from the inner city of Phoenix. It allows you to give a little bit more square feet for families to spread their wings a little bit, have a little bit more of a backyard, maybe a pool for just a little bit less what you would spend as you get closer in. There's lots of parks, there's highly rated schools, lots of restaurants, museums. There's a lot of art all around the whole city of, of Chandler, not to mention some of Phoenix as well. But, but as you start to get into the downtown area, which I'll also cover, there is so much to do in Chandler and it's really still close to a lot of different areas of Phoenix. And we'll get to, into that as well. And number two, downtown Chandler, so much to offer. I have to say, I've been over there spending some time just recently. I don't live there now, but I'm pretty close to the area. I was pleasantly surprised because I haven't been over it in the area that much, but I think I will be spending more time there in the, in the future. A lot going on. They have farmer's market. They have tons of restaurants and bars, which everyone seems to love. But not only just the bars, if you are a beer fan, you like to drink beer, there's six local breweries right in the downtown area of Chandler. That's pretty crazy. So there's tons to do there, lots to offer. And there's a lot of live entertainment, just a lot of energy. So if you're in the area or you work in the area, you live in the area and you just want to get off work and go kind of relax, kick back a little bit, downtown Chandler has tons to offer. Then we have all the jobs Chandler has to offer. Lots of large employers reside right in Chandler. There's a lot of retail and banking and tech. We have GoDaddy, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Intel, Microchip Technology, just to name a few, all within the heart of Chandler. So you can have your home in Chandler and your job in Chandler, and maybe you're still working at home or a hybrid. It's very, very common to have a little bit of each these days. A few minutes down the road to work, you go in for the day and then you're ready for that beer, you go to the downtown Chandler area, you can have everything you really need all within a small amount of space or uh, square miles right within the, the Chandler area. We also have the proximity of Chandler, even though it's a little bit away from the major piece or parts of Phoenix. Also very close I and mean, within reason, you know, close is kind of a, <laughs> it's in your own terms. You're closer to still get to Scottsdale if you want to. Scottsdale is huge and very long as far as distance. We'll get to that in another video. But so you have Scottsdale, we get to over to Gilbert and a lot of different things to do within the different communities. The airport's not super far. If you want to get into Phoenix and go to downtown or Roosevelt Row within Phoenix, it's still not super far. I mean, you have to still travel across. Maybe it's 25 minutes or so to some of those different areas, but you're still pretty close to a lot of the things. And we already covered the jobs. There's tons of jobs ready within Chandler. So you can work in Chandler and reside there and you don't have to leave the community really at all if you don't want to. And then there's still like arts and different, the downtown area of Chandler, you get all those areas that you can cover pretty quickly without having to truck across, you know, 30, 40 miles across town, which seems to be not always ideal. Sometimes you want to get away a little bit, but you also have that option to, in, you have the airport, like I said, which I love because I like to hop on a plane and get out of town as well. Affordability, and I'm going to use that term a little loosely because affordability can be looked at as, you know, I'm really getting a deal, but it's comparable to the market and the time and all that sort of thing. So as of right now, 2022, the Arizona Journal of Real Estate and Business, their numbers, $590,000 for a single family home is the median price of Chandler right now. And you compare that to some of the other areas, it's uh, probably maybe a little bit on the, just a little bit above average. According to, you'll find some less expensive homes 
in the median prices within the area. Avondale and Peoria and some of those areas up in the west side, they're a little bit less than that. And then you also have some that are drastically more. If you go to the Scottsdale area, especially in the North Scottsdale area, you could double that pretty easily. So it's, it's pretty easy to spend quite a bit. It all depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a little extra space and you know, family community, a lot of great schools, which they're very highly rated in Chandler, all those sort of things. Chandler is a great option. Affordability is kind of in your own eyes and what you're looking for. If you want proximity to jobs, if you want proximity to the airport, if you want a little extra room maybe comparable to some of the areas as you get closer into town, Chandler, Arizona is a great option. Those are just some top five quick tips for Chandler. I will be covering a lot more because I believe very strongly that there's a lot of with anything that's great, there's also going to be some drawbacks. So I'll cover in more detail, even specifically on Chandler. What are the drawbacks of Chandler? What are the what are the cons? And also some of the other communities of Scottsdale and Gilbert and Mesa and Phoenix and different neighborhoods as well. And even just some of the the restaurants. What what I've been to tons of different places and I like some and some are not so good. And, and I'll offer up all those details and all the specifics on you should check this place out or this neighborhood has this really great spot to check out. I love to go to yoga at this place. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.